I know everyone in the house hates Brent, but is it that deep? Like, do we hate Brent that much? Is it that bad? What's up, everybody? I'm so happy to be back to BBQC recap. No, BB recaps. I'm sorry. It's BB recaps. See, even I am getting confused with my channels. What's up, guys? What's up, Alec? What's up, Josh? I'm so happy to have you guys here. So happy. So let's jump like right into the episode of Big Brother 23, a veto episode. You know, everything is predictable this week, but I am mad about it because we're seeing really nice images. I love that, uh, what's her name? Hannah has a very sassy, oh, Alex says, uh, hey, Josh. Hey, hey, Josh. Um, yeah, so I love that Hannah has kind of a sassy side to her. Like, she's very demonic. Guys, okay, I know everyone in the house hates Brent, but is it that deep? Like, do we hate Brent that much? Is it that bad? Because I feel like he's just being obnoxious and cocky, and sometimes... It's endearing when some t when someone is a little bit cocky, like maybe in a different environment, he would have been liked by the house. Like, can someone confirm if Brent is as bad as the other house guests are saying? But yeah, so predictable. It's been three weeks now. Well, I mean, let's say two weeks. It's been pred predictable for like two weeks. So I like the people of this cat. Like, they're nice, but it's not giving me Big Brother Canada season nine, you know? It's not giving us Big Brother Canada season five. But then again, we've watched so many seasons of Big Brother Canada that now the standard is so high. But yeah, it's aight. I kind of want, no, I didn't want Brent to win the Power of Veto competition, but I kind of wanted him to because it would have shaken up the house and they would have been scrambling for a new nomination. But now it's like so predictable and I don't think it's gonna change. I think tomorrow, we're going to see a Brent eviction. And I just want to point out that three males in a row are going to have been evicted. Three males in a row will have been evicted. And I think that's a first in Big Brother history that there has not been one woman evicted so far. Alex says, well, he has for sure a very bad read on the house. Yo, this guy is so cocky. I don't understand. Like everything he says, he was like, even when he says that he's a smart guy, he doesn't say it in a smart way. He's like, I'm perceived, something, something perceived, my body perceives me, and I'm, mm, you really sound not that bright, you know what I mean, well, you know what I mean, anyways, so yeah, so just to continue the episode, to start the episode, so it's the end of the nomination ceremony, and Brent and Brittany have been nominated as a pawn, obviously, we know that Brent is not a pawn, Oh, sorry, I said nominated as pawns. No, they are nominated, they're up for eviction. Xavier told Brent that he's the pawn, but we know that that's a bold-faced lie. Um, and Brent doesn't believe it. I don't know how they thought that Brent would believe it. But the thing is, Brent's behavior kind of helps them because he's like, I have enough votes to stay. Bro, if you're not the pawn, there's probably a lot of people plotting against you in the house. You know what I mean? That's the next step that Brent is not taking, thinking, okay, wait, if Xavier has the guts of putting me on the block, that means other people that I'm not aware of don't want him on the block as well, you know? So that's pretty problematic. Anyways, so yeah, so Brittany is really crying hard. I get it because it's not fun to be the outcast of the group because she's been nominated for two weeks. And by the way, it's set up right now, she's going to be the pawn every single week. So that's going to be a problem. I would, I would cry if I were her because you really don't know if you're the pawn or if you're the target. But then again, it still shows that people don't care about you if you're put as a pawn anyway. So either scenario is bad, even if you're the target or even if you're a pawn. So anyways, so yeah, so Brittany, um, Xavier goes to see Brittany and he apologizes because she's literally crying her eyes out and it's heartbreaking. Like I understand it's really heartbreaking to see, you know, she's relatively nice and she has so much energy. She has so much pep that it's really sad to see her crying like that. Um, he says, basically Xavier told, tells her that, um, everyone in the house knows what's going on. He's basically telling her that she's the pawn, but when you're yourself and you're being targeted, it's really not as fun. Um, and then Alex said, um, I don't get it. I don't get it though. 
They should keep him because he's obviously very bad at the game. Exactly. And also they should keep him because he's always going to be the target because people find him annoying. The thing is, being HOH is a double-edged sword, right? Because you want to play for your own agenda. So maybe Xavier could... Because anyways, Brent feels like he's in an, in an alliance with Xavier. So why would you target someone who likes you? You know what I mean? But the hard part is you have the rest of the house who doesn't like him. So you kind of have to do the other, the rest of the house dirty work or else you might as, you might as well yourself be the target the week after. That's the problem, you know? Hi, Sasu. I'm so happy to see you here. I'm liking the hair, BB. I'm, thank you. Thank you. We're trying something new. You know, I tried to do something new. I was bored. So literally bleached the hair bleach the hair by the way sasu i keep saying sasu okay because that's the, just the way i read it but i realized that there's no double s so is it sazu or sasu because i just assume that it was sasu so maybe it's sazu you know let me know let me know girl um hey sasu yes so yeah moving on with the episode um so basically team aces are talking together in my mind oh sasu says hey alec Hey, so yeah, it, Team Aces, which is Brent's team, Brit, uh, Whitney, Hannah, and um, Derek X. And the thing is, they don't like Brent. They find him annoying. But at the same time, if this guy wins HOH, you're safe. So at what point do you look at game versus personal feeling? Like, is it that bad that you can't stand him? I mean, can't you just change room or go somewhere else? Because you're literally ruining your game for that guy. Um, because he's actually a confirmed ally. Whereas, I mean, now Hannah is in the cookout. But initially, she wasn't in the cookout. She didn't know that she was solid amongst the other one. And even they didn't have any loyalty towards Hannah because she wasn't even in the cookout. So it's like, Hannah, like, I like you. I like your sassiness. I love your little punchlines. But... I love your little punchlines, but girl, like, be careful. You have to manage your emotions in this game. So pronounce Sasu. Yeah, in my mind, it was Sasu. So we're good. We're good. We're on the same page. But yeah, anyways, all that to say that Hannah needs to calm down and to protect your game. And even, I don't know if you guys perceive that. At some point, Hannah tells Derek that she is so annoyed by, um, well, it was in last Monday's episode. She tells, um, what's his name? Oh my God, I can't even speak. She tells Derek X that she finds Brent so annoying that she's willing to risk his game. She's willing to risk her game because of because of that whole situation because she can't stand him. And Derek's, Derek X's response is, yeah, I'm starting to, to find it hard. So Derek's, Derek X is not all the way talking bad about, um, about Brent, right? He's not as gung-ho against Brent. So that's the thing, right? He's very careful. And I could see um what's his name i i could see derek x winning big brother honestly he's good at competitions people like him in the house um he doesn't he's not outright outright threatening whereas the other people in the house i love tiffany i really love her i love that she's all about the game but tiffany might be making herself a target by being so strong like so you know that's it with her opinions but anyways, basically together the aces are plotting against Brent, which makes no sense in theory because they literally could be saved if Brent is safe and wins HOH. So yeah, so Hannah says she can't stand him. They're plotting to deceive Brent. They're basically going to tell him that, oh no, we don't think you're, you're the target. Like Brittany is definitely the target. Who is going to believe that? Who is going to believe that Brittany is literally the target? Not us. Yeah, and even Whitney, I was so surprised how much... And you know what sucks for Whitney? She is so much against Brent, but people see them as a pair. That's what's crazy. Like, she almost went on the block against him. And let's say there was a switcheroo, they would have no problem sending Whitney home. So that's that's kind of crazy to me. But yeah. And then we have another scene again of Britney crying to Derek F. So Britney's crying a lot. I, I feel Britney's pain, right? I want to feel it in my bones, Britney's pain. But, I mean, it does work for her. Like, another person, I would say, puts a target on their back because they, they become annoying to the house. But in terms of Britney, I feel like now people are going to feel bad targeting her because they see all her emotions and they're going to be like, oh, I can't do this to Britney again. 
maybe or maybe they don't care they say they care you know that um xavier was sad but then in the end he was like yo i gotta do this for my game it's making me sad it's making me cry but game is game you know so whatever gotta do what it, what i gotta do